It's just full figure focus. Just, just focus. 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 Full figure focus. Hey yo, this is Matt, and today we are talking about editing. Not really. We are talking about full figure focus. Not sure what you think that means, but I came up with it after someone asked me about how to get more of their figure in focus. That means this is a subscriber, subscriber request. request. How many times has that happened to you? You have your awesome shot, you know, you got to pose, the lighting, everything looks good. You line up your camera, boom, the face is in focus. Everything looks good, you take the picture, and it might look good on your on your little camera screen, but then when you go to edit, you see that you know some other parts, like on the backside or another hand, it it it's kind of blurred out and it's not in focus. So this isn't wrong. There's nothing wrong with that, but maybe you wanted his hand in focus, or there's another hand like up in front of the figure, and you want that hand in focus, but it's not. But the face is, and that's what's important, right? Yes. Does it look good? Maybe. But you want the full figure in focus. Before continuing, I just want to thank today's sponsor, Amusing King. Specializing in toy photography, Amusing King is a great place to view really cool photos on Instagram. Go check out Amusing King. With full figure focus, I'm breaking it up into two categories, but there is a third option, but I don't want to go into too much detail on that third option. Just to go over it quickly, it's photo stacking where you take multiple pictures of the same scene, but each time you take it, you're adjusting the focus to focus on a different part of your subject. So this is usually good with like bigger subjects, or maybe you're shooting multiple subjects and you can take, you can focus, take a picture, focus, and you're taking the whole thing. And then when you put them into your editor, Photoshop, Lightroom, whatever, and you blend them all together. All the parts that are in focus are going to be like your subject. So your subject should be completely in focus if you did it enough times. But that's not what this video is about. If you want me to do a video on photo stacking, you can let me know in the comments. Full figure focus, the first factor, lens choice. This has come out in a few recent videos of mine, but it is important to know. The longer your lens, meaning the higher millimeter number your lens is, the more compressed your background is going to be. But it's not just the background. Your subject and the proportions are also affected. The lens I have on here is a 15-35. To get a quick example, we have 15 millimeters and you can see that it's kind of, it's not fisheye, but it's kind of wide. Like my nose is, might be a little bit bigger than it normally is and it's kind of stretched out. Whereas if I do 35 and I kind of, I try to like level it to where it was, my proportions on my face might seem a little nicer and cleaner, which is why for, for portrait photography, usually people use a 50 millimeter and above because it compresses the face. When you get lower than that, sometimes it can make the face a little wider and not as flattering. So now let's see how it looks with toy photography. I'm gonna be using my 24 to 70 lens to show the differences. All the settings are going to be the same for this part. So when I'm trying to focus on Rex in a T-pose here at 70 millimeters, you can see that I have his helmet perfectly in focus. When I take the shot and we look at it, his hands are out of focus, both the front hand and the one behind. But then when we zoom out, now at 24 millimeters, I take the shot so I know what you're thinking. The shots aren't the same and the 24 millimeter is way too wide. And you're correct. From here, we can test out two different things. So we're gonna try the 24 millimeter, but we're gonna get closer to our subject to match the original yeah. 70 millimeter shot. And so now we're gonna try to move back with the 70 millimeter to match the original 24 millimeter. I'm trying to match the size of the subject and the diorama that's shown just just for the sake of seeing the differences. Besides any distortion to the figure or the background, we are focusing on the focus. When wanting to have maximum full figure focus, which of these do you think is the best? There isn't going to be just one right answer that works all of the time, because sometimes you might have a diorama that you really wanna show what's in the background or the details, or sometimes you really want to just focus on the figure and not what's in the background and it doesn't really matter what's around. Both of those have different lens options. 
That's the power of the lens choice. So on to the next part, full figure focus, final factor, the aperture, f-stop. On your camera, when you see this f number, that is the aperture. It's a main part of the exposure triangle. It's gonna control how much light enters the camera. The lower the number is, the wider that iris on your lens is going to be, which means more light is going to be able to enter. And so the higher number your aperture is, the more closed that iris is gonna be, meaning there's gonna be less light entering into your camera. Without worrying about that lighting part, the aperture also controls how much is in focus in your frame. We're gonna go back with Rex and see this in action. So for this part, we're going to keep our focal length at 50 millimeters, but we will change the aperture and just to help keep the lighting similar, some other settings will be changed. So here at the lowest and widest my lens will go, which is f2.8, we're keeping Rex's helmet in focus. And you can see the background and his hands and what's not in focus. So we'll take the shot. And so now we're gonna change our aperture to f10. So the iris is closing even smaller. So take the shot and now let's look at what's in focus. So you should see between the two images that the shot at f10 is going to have way more stuff that's in focus, including our full figure. Random video tip, if you're trying to film something and you want it to look like a movie, usually you put the aperture as low as you can and it's gonna blur the background a lot more and it's gonna look cinematic. So don't forget when you increase the f-stop, you're limiting how much light enters the camera. So that means your image will be darker. So you will have to add more lights or you will have to adjust other settings on your camera in order to get the correct exposure. So like with most things, there isn't just one magic combo that's best for all situations. You will need to experiment and see these different lenses and see these different settings and just see what works for you or what works for the shot. I do recommend for your next photo, try a different lens, try a different distance from your subject. And if you're trying to get that full figure focus, try bumping that aperture up. So let me know in the comments if all this made sense. I'd love and appreciate all of your feedback so much and follow for more tutorials, create and inspire. Full figure focus. Full figure focus. Full, full, full figure focus.